Hey class, today we are going to be reading a fiction book. Fiction books are books that are made up by an author and not real. So um, some examples of fiction books that we've read in, read in class are uh, Pete the Cat, Too Cool for School, uh, Llama Llama, Red Pajama, and books like that. So our fiction book for today is called No Babysitters Allowed. Before we get started, I want you guys to look at the cover and try to figure out what this book might be about. What do you think No Babysitters Allowed could be about? Let's take a look and see. Hopscotch was a brave boy. He was so brave, he could take a spider that came visiting back out to the garden when mommy was scared. And when he fell off his tricycle and had to have a band-aid on his leg, he didn't cry at all. There were many things that Hopscotch could do very, very bravely. But when Hopscotch realized that tonight was a Mrs. Honeybunch and the babysitter night, he did not feel brave at all. Why do you guys think that Hopscotch didn't feel brave? Let's see why. Sweetheart, Mommy said, don't you like Mrs. Honeybunch? No, said Hopscotch. Rabbity and I do not like Mrs. Honeybunch. But really, Hopscotch didn't like bedtime without Mommy and Daddy. It made him feel all worried inside, and that made his tummy hurt. I have a tummy ache, Mommy, Hopscotch said hopefully. You can't go out when my tummy is worried. Mrs. Honeybunch can give you warm milk for that. Daddy smiled and kissed him better. Rabbity can have some too. Run along now, we'll be fine, said Mrs. Honeybunch kindly. Mommy was looking as worried as hopscotch. Hopscotch and Rabbity pressed their noses to the goodbye window, still waving long after Mommy and Daddy had turned the corner out of sight. Now, Hopscotch, said Mrs. Honeybunch, what shall we do? Shall we paint a picture? Hopscotch and Rabbity just pressed their noses closer to the goodbye window and gave a little sniff. What about building a car? Suggested Mrs. Honeybunch. They gave a slightly bigger sniff. I know, said Mrs. Honeybunch brightly. Let's play hide and sink. seek. Hopscotch shook his head sadly. No thank you, he sighed. I think I will play hiding and no seeking all by myself. And off he went to hide in the special no babysitters allowed camp that he had made earlier in the day. Rabbity stood guard outside. Why do you guys think he didn't want to play with Mrs. Hopscotch? I mean, Mrs. Honeybunch. Let's see if we can figure it out. Hiding is fun when someone is seeking, but hiding on your own when no one is looking for you is very boring, as Hopscotch soon discovered. There was not much to do in his camp, especially with Rabbity on guard duty. It might have been fun to build a car or paint a picture. So when he heard Mrs. Honeybunch ask if Rabbity would like to hear a story while he guarded the entrance, Hopscotch pricked up his ears, especially because it was one of his favorite bedtime stories. 
But then the strangest thing happened. Mrs. Honeybunch got the story mixed up. She started in the middle, confused all the names, and then made up the story altogether. And she did this with not one book, not two, but three, until Hopscotch couldn't stand it anymore. and burst out of his camp. And then showed her how to build a race car. Oh, let me see the page. Mrs. Honeybunch, she said, you're reading the stories all wrong. You're mixed up. Oh dear sweetheart, am I? Mrs. Honeybunch smiled. Perhaps you could help me out. So Hopscotch very patiently told Mrs. Honeybunch about the stories in the books. And then he showed her how to build a race car. And last of all, how to paint a picture of a lovely sunny day. Then Mrs. Honeybunch showed Hopscotch how to make delicious warm milk and tucked him into bed. Much later that evening, Mommy tiptoed into his bedroom to give him a kiss goodnight. How is your tummy, sweetheart? She asked. My tummy isn't worried anymore, whispered Hopscotch sleepily. And if she wants, Mrs. Honeybunch can come and play again. And here's his no babysitters allowed fort, but the no scratched out. The end.